confirmation today of the huge gap in this country between the middle class and the richest people. The 1%, the richest Americans, have seen their income grow exponentially, a staggering 275% in the past 30 years. The middle class lagging behind and lower income people lagging even more, raving, raising questions about how you strengthen America's middle class. And ABC's John Berman explores it. Over the last 30 years, the richest of the rich have been riding a rocket ship. Everyone else on a slow climb uphill. The top 1% seeing their incomes shoot up more than six times the rate of the middle class. In Minnesota, Bonnie and Declan Cannon, a meteorologist and a school volunteer, say they now may have to rely on their kids in retirement. We towed the line, we did all the right things, followed the guidelines, and we're in this position because of nothing we ourselves did. The CBO study says this income gap is partially the result of big time salaries and bonuses rising since 1979 and taxes on the rich falling. The economic result? If you think of America's total income as one giant pie, the richest 1% have seen the size of their piece double over the last 30 years, and everyone else seen their piece get smaller. But the social result might be bigger. The first question that comes to my mind is, are we all still in the same boat together? The middle class, for so long the great engine of our economy, seems to be gasping. Over the last two decades, the cost of health insurance up more than 150 percent, the cost of housing up 56 percent, the cost of a college education up 43 percent. No wonder 94 percent of America's middle class no longer believes they can get ahead. What they're frustrated about is that they think that the rich and the wealthy are playing by an entirely different set of rules. While they balance checkbooks, they see banks get bailouts and CEOs pocket multi-million dollar bonuses. Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz is trying to show we're all climbing this hill together, providing small loans to small businesses that prove they will hire. Well, I think it's about Americans helping Americans to bring back the self-esteem of those individuals who are being left behind. Now, Starbucks is putting $5 million of its own money into this effort, and starting next Tuesday, they'll be selling wristbands in stores for $5 a piece, that money going to help create jobs, and Schultz says creating self-esteem, Diane. Okay, John, thanks. And we want everyone at home to keep writing us as well as our partners, Yahoo. We're listening now at abcnews.com. We want your thoughts about this.